Well, hello, boys and girls. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. Yeah. I'm going to be giving you a prediction, series prediction, one that has been tearing me up on the insides. Hit the subscribe and bell and listen to the whole thing. And then at the end, I'll give you my prediction, and we'll all have a little Perlo dance together. Yeah, buddy. Okay, first of all, if you like all the odds and all that kind of stuff I had, if you like what they've done, statistics, off-the-wall hockey. Guy's got incredible uh, preview video that he does. I'll put it in the link maybe in the bottom. Check it out. It's very good. Okay, Montreal basically all the way through here has beat the odds. And if you watch, I did a video on my take on how Montreal got here. And a lot of it to me had to do with Corey Perry. Corey Perry uh, is a big reason, not the only reason. Probably Price is the biggest reason. Fantastic goaltender on Tampa Bay side. Yeah, Vasilevsky, just as fantastic a goaltender. Paper to paper, simple. I can show you all the stats if you want. But the fact of the matter is Tampa Bay, on paper, Kucherov, Point, Palat, Stamkos, Hedman, McDonough, the list goes on. On paper, they have a better team. There's no doubt about it. You could say the same about Vegas, though. And you probably could have made a really case about Winnipeg before Shifley went down. Everybody was picking Toronto. So how is Montreal going to win this if they're going to win it? They're going to do the same thing, I believe, that they did all the way along here, and they're going to get guys off their game. Perry is a genius at that. Like I said, I did a video on it. Shows you kind of a little bit deeper how Perry does what he does and gets especially the big players like Stone and Pacioretty in the last series off their game. They're going to do the same here. They're going to go to all the lows that they have to go to, say whatever they have to say to get Tampa focusing on the players on the other uh, players, such as Perry and Gallagher and all of those guys, rather than the game itself. Then they're going to play a 1 1 3, as they've been playing all series long, Montreal, that is. 1 1 3, the way you beat it is you open up the ice and you draw as many forwards into the uh, offensive part of the neutral zone as you can and play the long pass. Carolina plays a simpler thing, sim similar thing like that. Tampa Bay beat them that way. I imagine Tampa Bay is going to do it, try to do it again. They have awesome defensemen for first passes out of the zone. And uh, then Montreal's got to try to intercept those passes. Now, the, one of the best teams in the league at doing that very thing is the New York Islanders, and Tampa Bay figured out a way against them. Montreal will, again, play the 1-1-3, one, three, three, one, 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 three, and they're also going to ride an unbelievable confidence that they have in themselves. Uh, they, I, What I love most about the Canadians especially Perry, is there's not very many ups. There's no not many ups and not many downs. You don't see them shaking their head on the ice and, oh, though, why did that happen? They're mentally, right now, Montreal is in the perfect spot. Tampa Bay, really, I have seen them kind of get like that on and off, but they have the talent to get over that hump. The question is, are they going to be able to do it against Montreal? Um, in all honesty, up until now, they have Montreal probably has the most offensive talent that they've gone up against. Uh, Florida did have some offensive threats. Um, however, their defense wasn't very good at moving the puck out of the back end. Montreal is better at that by for sure, but they're much bigger. It's the biggest defense Tampa Bay has gone up against. Grinding in the corners. They're, I imagine they're going to want to cycle and they're going to want to keep the puck moving in the offensive zone as much as they possibly can to not get trapped by the Sherrods, the Edmontons, the Webbers. And, uh, you know, Jeff Petrie is no small guy either. Um, so that's what, my, that's what I think Tampa Bay is going to try to do. 
Montreal, of course, like always, is going to play surprisingly aggressive in their 1-1-3. And that, my friends, is uh, something that separates them from the Islanders. Montreal is not opposed to starting to get super aggressive, to break the 1-1-3, and at certain times of the game, completely take a risk to, to throw the team off. And that's what Tampa Bay is going to have to combat. So the question is, who's going to win this series? Well, I haven't been picking Montreal all the way through, I have to admit. And uh, I'm probably not going to pick them here. I think it's going to be Tampa Bay in seven, but I'm not confident. To me, it's a coin flip, really. Uh, when you have Price and Vasilevsky, Price playing the way he's playing right now, Vasilevsky playing the way he always does, this tight, tight games, hard to score, bounces can happen any which way. This feels like a, really a toss-up series, which is amazing when you consider where Montreal came from. But it's true, and I, I do believe that uh, they're going to put up a big fight. It wouldn't surprise me if Montreal won. I'm just going to lean Tampa Bay because of, first of all, the experience. They won last year. They've been here before. And second of all, they're over, they really do have overwhelming talent on – especially in their top six, uh, and even in defense as well. On paper, they beat Montreal. I'd be excited if Montreal won. I'll be rooting for Montreal, but I'm taking Tampa Bay in seven. That's my full 42. Come to my live, which is on in about an hour and a half, and weekdays between three and five, we talk about this very thing. I have special guests on. Uh, it's interactive. So we talk a lot with people in the comment section. We bounce back and forth, trade ideas for the offseason. We've got the draft coming up. All kinds of excitement. There will be frolic. You should really go there and check it out. Okay, bye.